I've never fought with this before. Now we're filming. Let's rock. In the 47 round, and the action is out of control. They're real people. It's real fighting. And we have Gary Powell as the stunt coordinator, and he did an absolutely incredible job. I'll just try and keep it as real as possible. If you are really in a situation where you're fighting someone, what would you really do? Kick, switch you there, but where you're sort of open to And now you go. Each individual fight's choreographed. We do videos, we show the directors, producers, and everything, and they like it all, and we start showing the actors. I started training basic katana. I've never done any two-handed sword, so that's a whole new world. <laughs> but it's another son. He's had classical training, so he's been really helpful with technique and approach. Every strike must have meaning and how strikes flow into each other. Keanu was a great learner, but also we tried to find out the contrast between Keanu's style and my style. Kai's more about attack. It's kind of guerrilla warfare. And of course, always she trained the traditional way and some way movement, so it was a great mixture. After this... And of course, to see those two working together and fighting together against each other and with each other. That's every fanboy's dream. We are escaping from Dutch Island. As soon as possible. <laughs> Eyes are right. And bow. With the tournament, there's all these fighters coming in, and all of a sudden, it's my turn. Everybody's like, you know, who's this guy? It's a challenging shoot because you know you've got someone who's six foot tall fighting someone who's technically eight foot tall. Originally, his character was going to be all CG. And then I found Neil, who's seven foot seven, the tallest guy in England. The suit's hot. Where's the British weather when you need it? But what was sort of quite funny is when we started choreographing the fights, two guys would do it who were the same size and go, yeah, this works. So we start teaching Neil, and all of a sudden, his size makes a huge difference. Because when he puts his arm out, put his sword on top of that, that's like a 10-foot reach. So we have to sort of then rejig it to match his size. And action. Take him apart. In the fight, you know, I'm looking down, I'm used to that, but it's probably tougher for Keanu because he's always fighting, kind of looking up. For me, if you work high, low, you know, you go for the feet, try to get inside. But Neil, he's really considerate. It's like basically, Keanu, if you don't duck here, I'm going to take your head off. But. I'll make sure if you don't duck, I don't kill you. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. Thanks a lot. Be a half speed rehearsal, guys. Tonight we are at Lord Kira's castle. Roll three cameras. 3D, rolling. Where our intrepid heroes are going to come and assault and also to get revenge against Lord Kira. Obviously, the Ronan fighting the guards is just chaos. <laughs> Mass mayhem and big battle. Um, then there's obviously the Oishi Kira fight. So exciting. Yes. Finally, face to face. <laughs> <laughs> we spend a long time, day and night, fighting, fighting, fighting. Every shot we discussed a lot. How can we create this moment? Okay. Kira and Oishi are two classic samurai warriors. They start a fight in traditional form, but then halfway through that fight, Oishi comes this sort of crazed person. 
Hero is so fast. And Tag just puts in 100%. Matt finally 101. And it's a great moment. An inch. Keanu and Hero and the actors have learned their sword craft so well. It's pretty amazing. With the amount of fights we've done on this film, you can get worn out. So for them to be giving it that much effort at the end is all credit to them. There's some arrows and there's sword play. We've been in a couple of countries, in the mud, in the rain. It's been fun. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>